the last part uh, is rich club. So this is, you know, um, another concept. So this is another feature of a core. So a core decomposition strategy relies on the node degree. So, so far we saw that all that we relied on or use is no degree to do the k-core decomposition or the strength and weighted networks. So this is, you know, the defining uh, feature of a core, right? So it helps identify highly interconnected set of hub nodes, like, for example, this one, okay? Now, we can define a core also based on the density of connectivity uh, between the hubs uh, of a given graph. So... There is, there is also, there are different ways. So you guys, we can discuss this, right? So in the, at this stage, we only looked at degree, but you can ask yourself, okay, why they only use degree? Why not using other measures, okay? So you always need to engage in thinking and ask, okay, now I know what a core is, but can I define it in a better way? Or maybe can I integrate other measures to define a core? How can I modify the definition of a core in such a way that I can solve my problem in a better way, okay? So let's look at this question together. So do high degree nodes, which represent potential graph hubs, okay, show higher interconnectivity with each other uh, than expected by chance? So you might have a very high degree nodes, like central hub nodes, okay, uh, in your graph. But would you expect that these nodes to be also highly connected, interconnected, these hub central nodes. You can think about, maybe we can translate more this abstract question to a real world based question. So let's look at these three questions. So for example, what does this mean? It means, for example, uh, do the CEOs of a Fortune 500 companies so show a statistically significant tendency to socialize or do business with each other? So these are the hubs, right? The business hubs. The other question, do the most highly cited scientists in a particular discipline are more likely to cite each other? It's another question, right? Now, do major air transportation hubs are highly interconnected, right? So you can see now how can we look at a very abstract, simple, uh, generic question like projected to different problems to solve, right? So what do you guys think? It depends, right? Can be yes or can be no. So, but we want to explore this property. We want to see, um, to find whether a node is basically uh, important, but it's also connected to other highly important nodes. Okay, so this is, you know, where the rich, the clubbing or the club concept comes in and the richness of, of a node comes in. So let's look more. So these are questions basically um, addressed by uh, an analysis of the rich club property. So we'll look at the um, the rich club, uh, the richness of a, of a specific node. For example, here what do we have? We have an unweighted uh, unweighted graph G, and the definition of the richest node. So basically, they are defined as uh, the densely connected uh, nodes in the graph, which points to an interlinked core of high degree nodes. So when we call, we detected a rich club, it's a core, right? But the, the nodes within this core are, they're, they're, they're hubs in the whole, in the network, but they're extremely highly interconnected, okay? Which means these hubs, they communicate uh, a lot. So uh, if you look at these two graphs, which one you think is richer? G1, right? Because you can see that they're like highly interconnected, like uh, like all these nodes. These are important nodes. If you look at the degree, so this one and this one, they have like almost similar degrees, and they're still highly uh, interconnected. So um, right here, you have like also cross connection between all other nodes. So this is you know basically the this graph is much richer than the other one. Now let's define it properly, how this is defined. So we define a rich club coefficient associated with each um, associated with each uh, graph and node. So phi of k at each level of degree k of a graph g, okay, is defined as uh, follows. So we can define the rich club coefficient of a graph at a level k or at a degree k. So how is this defined? Is just a uh, basically it's uh, the proportion of the number 
of edges at nodes of degree stricter uh, or like strictly larger than k divided by the total number of edges in the undirected sub subgraph. So if you look at the subgraph, like we're a core, right? And then you want to quantify uh, or you want to compute its uh, the richness, uh, the rich club coefficient of this subgraph, okay? So then you look at the number of edges at nodes of degree greater uh, than k. So you count the number of edges that are connected to nodes with high degrees, higher than, than k, and you divide them by the total number of edges in, in the, this subgraph. So let, we'll, we'll have like a minute, maybe we, we, you guys can write, uh, try to do this, like solve it by hand and see how it works out on a small graph. But let's say if at level k you have phi of k, the, rich, the coefficient, the richness coefficient is equal to zero, what does it mean? Like there, there are basically no edges, right? It means no edges of nodes with degree greater than zero because what you're counting here is the number of edges that have nodes with degree greater than uh, k, okay? So basically this is what we call a, a cutoff value. So the k here is actually a cutoff value of richness where richness is defined in terms of degree. So how we define the richness is in terms of the degree of a node. And... Uh, 5k, basically, this uh, richness coefficient, it quantifies the connectivity between the richest nodes in a graph for a given level uh, k of that graph. So it, it tells us how, how rich are the nodes in that, uh, in that uh, subgraph, basically. 